We don't tell them how to do it. It's good. It's all good. What is it like? Yeah. 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 It's good. It's all good. Okay. We're recording right now, so we're going to start again. Yeah. This is all done. <clears throat> Color is so good. Back in the day, the PTO used to have coffee for the uh, one that made it set up right there. I was somebody there. Oh, that pillar. That pillar. <laughs> I was somebody there before the donut. I ate a whole bunch of things. I was just holding it. I was thinking about it. I have been. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
Uh, we find that our ELL students need the most support in writing and speaking. They are stronger in reading and listening. And right now, students spend about three to four years in, in, uh, in the ELL program before graduating out of it. So uh, we just have to submit that every year. And I just had to give a little background on that. Uh, next Wednesday, February 23rd, we will uh, uh, be giving a hidden in plain sight presentation, which is identifying drug paraphernalia, hiding places, slang signs, and symptoms that may indicate alcohol or drug use by teens and young adults. Uh, again, that will be at the high school, February 23rd at 7 p.m. Also, we have updated our COVID protocols. I sent out a community letter yesterday. Um, our cases are down. I think in the last two weeks, we've only had three total cases in district. Uh, that first week in January, we had 90, just to give you an idea of where we are. Um, students who test positive will have the ability to um, come back on day six of their quarantine if there's no symptoms. In doing so, though, the parent has to agree that they would have to isolate and eat in a separate room or at least uh, not with all the students. They will have to uh, wear their mask still uh, from day six through 10, uh, at recess and gym. Uh, these are the protocols, but with the small numbers, we feel we can do that. Uh, students returning, um, students returning, unvaccinated students returning from travel also will only have to quarantine five days. And now if you're a close contact in school, we are implementing the test to stay procedures that if a parent allows us, we can, if you are a close contact, we can test you every other day and you can stay in school. So instead of just going home for the six days and testing out, we have the ability, we got the test from the state to have our nurses uh, test the students each day. And then that will give us the opportunity to keep students in school because we have a negative test result uh, up until I think it is day eight. Also, uh, Governor Murphy announced the school mask mandate will be lifted on March 7th. We are still waiting on the Department of Education guidance on what that entails. Uh, our hope is to have mask optional moving forward. But once I have all the details on what that entails, what that requires of unvaxxed students uh, and you know where, where, what will happen and what the scenarios will be, we will be able to make a uh, full decision, hopefully, I think the guidance that are coming out is February 22nd is what we're told, but I still haven't seen anything. Mr. Erfan, for the record, I see board member Dalia Alvarez present at this time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, moving on to the approval of minutes for January 18th, uh, open public meeting and, and the closed session. Any comments or corrections from any board member? Can I have a motion to move the minutes? Motion call. Second. Salud. Please take a roll call. Sure. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Cole? No, I was absent. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Mrs. Ms. Record? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Just to be clear, if you were absent, do you does that Abstain. first vote? Uh, what? Okay, I just want to make sure we're all clear. Okay, perfect. Um, moving on to the section five policy. Is there a motion to approve resolution 5.1 regarding the first reading of policies? Motion, Lisa. Is there a second? Second. Please call the roll. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Ms. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Ms. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Ruckett? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion Thank you. Read. Moving to the resolutions under section six, education. Is there a motion to approve resolution 6.1 <laughs> <laughs> through 610? Motion, Lisa. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any board member comments on these resolutions? Please take a roll call, Mr. Irvon. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Mr. Ruckett? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Um, now we're going to just vote on an individual resolution. Uh, 611, approval of ELL three-year plan. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? 611? Motion, Lisa. Do I have a second? Would that be you, BC? Sure. Thank you. Is there any board discussion on this resolution? No. Please take a roll call, Rafa. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Oligo? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Brackett? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion Thank carried. you, Rafa. Moving to resolution section seven, personnel. Is there a motion to approve resolution 7.1 through 7.7? 7? Motion, Lisa. Do I have a second? Second. second. Can you... I'm sorry, Mr. Any comments on this resolution? Please take a call, a roll call, Mr. Irfan. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Record? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Moving on to resolution in section eight, finance. Is there a motion to approve resolution 8.1 through 8.7? Motion, Lisa. Do I have a second? Olivo. Is there any discussion from any board member on these resolutions? Please take a roll call, Mr. Irfan. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Ruckert? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Moving on to resolutions 8.8 .8 through 8.12. Is there a motion to approve? Motion, Lisa. Is there a second? Chavez. Any discussion from any board member on these resolutions? I just have one question. Sure, Mrs. Cole. The rock wall, where is that going? In the gym? Yes. Okay. Does that answer your question, Mrs. Yes. Cole? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Any other discussions? Mr. Irfan, roll call. Thank you. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Ruckett? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Got lost here for a second. Motion to move resolution 9.1 in buildings and ground section. Donation of rock climbing wall for Steen School PTO. Is there a motion to approve? Olivo. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Chavez. Is there any discussion on this resolution? Mr. Irfan, roll call, please. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Ruckett? Yes. Mr. Miranda. Absolutely, yes. Motion and period. I just wanted to say thank you to the STEAM PTO. Uh, it's definitely moving into progress in our school system. And I would love if everyone can come together and see more of that in all the schools. Every kid deserves the same opportunity. Moving on to the addendum items number 10.1, approval of middle school English teacher. Is there a motion to approve? Motion, Idalia. Is that a second, Idalia? Yes. Cole's motion. Is there any discussion from board members on this resolution? Any questions? Please roll call, Mr. Irfan. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Ruckett? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Next on the agenda are your committee reports. Any members with committee reports? Yes. Uh, today we held our first finance committee. Oh, second. the second. I'm sorry. Second. I was I was virtual for the first one. I apologize. <laughs> it was my first in person. Yes. Um, we today we went through our our budget our cal our budget calendar for for the year. Um, we are also preparing for next year's budget. So there's a lot of interesting things happening and things that we are learning also. So. Uh, that was pretty much our meeting and that's what i have today thank you anyone else susan anyone else building and grounds policy oh, good okay I, and for the, i want to say I've, I've attended some of the committee meetings we've had uh i thank you all that you're very interested in learning you asked plenty of questions i think the board would agree uh because we're learning too right it's, it's just progress and learning 
And the one thing I, I do want to applaud everyone sitting up here is that um, you're, you're definitely committed, you've shown commitment, and you're definitely looking at ways to streamline the process and help the board office become more effective at their duties. Not that they weren't, but sometimes there's new program like board docs. How is everyone adapting to that, right? It seems pretty quick. It's at your fingertips. Um, surveys going out as well, part of committee procedures. And, and we're, I think we're gonna continuously see more technology in our committee procedures and a board communication procedures. So I just thank you for really encouraging that and adopting that from all board members. Next, we have old business. Is there any old business the board would like to discuss? No, but I will say that um, this new process, I like it a lot. I like yeah. having the attachments right there, not having to go look for it. There was a change to it receiving that information and being able to just click into it I, i'm really liking this thank you bc anyone else and I'm just to second on bc um i hope the public adopts it for all those listening and watching in and i hope more people watching it's really at your fingertips now i think you know at some point you're all going to be able to see everything it's going to be so transparent it's so you know you this is how you make decisions right from from the public's opinion so and being able to have the information at your at your fingertips. So thank you for that. Uh, next, we have new business. Is there any new business a board member would like to discuss? Thank you. Hearing of the public. Can I have a motion to open the floor? Hearing of the public? Motion Ortega. Can I have a second? Chavez. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Floor is open to the public. Speaker to state name and street address. You have five minutes. Um, Mr. Kennedy? Yes, I'm up there. Good evening. Uh, my name is Alex Pepe, 149 Homestead Place, Pagoda. I see a few faces here that I recognize. I'm a resident here for over 50 something years. I, put, I graduated here. I put multiple children through the school system. Last week was Black Lives Matter month. I mean, uh, what? Black History Month. Black History, Black History Month. Month. I'm sorry. And in class, my son happens to be the only white child in the class. And the teacher comes out and tells us that white students are privileged. I don't, this is unacceptable. Okay? This shouldn't have, this is going on in our school system. It's, it's crazy. I am not, my kids are not racist. A lot of people know in my family. This is unacceptable. I came in last week, I spoke to the guidance counselor and I squashed it respectfully. This morning, my son gets a disturbing text from this teacher, an educator, supposedly an educator. And I'm not standing for it. This is not, you know what I'm saying? My kid is not that kid and my, you know what I'm saying? My family is not that family. And for this poison, that teacher is poison to our our community, we're a mile by a mile here. Okay, we're all mixed, we're all community, we're all, we all have kids who want to come, we all come from other places that we want to raise our kids. My kids have broken bread and slept in multiple families out here. Okay, and for this to become into a mile by a mile and to start dividing our children and to, and to put this garbage into our school system is absurd. This should be looked into. Weed out, weed out, because there's many more. Okay? They're in here, they're wherever you guys, that's your business. This is the first time it happened. Okay. My son is not going to be that one. And I hope all these kids get along respectfully like we all want. We want to live in this community. I've been here 50 some years, we never had the problem. Okay. Now the politics and all this bullshit that's getting involved in and bringing in and destroying our kids is not right. So we're a mild, we're a small community here. We're a small community. We all get along. We've got all of them. I don't care. We all come from one mother and we all feed red. So I don't want to hear color. This color and that color and that color. No, 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 no. I get hit in the head with a hammer, it hurts. I hit you in the head, it hurts. We're all the same. We all come from one creator and one mother. So let's stop this nonsense. Let's get on top of this. 
Let's do the right thing and that's for our kids. That's all I'm asking. This is my last one. I was blessed. I thought it was over, but I was blessed with my last one. I don't need this. I don't need to go through it. Okay, I don't need this. I need to know that I'm going to be in a community where everybody gets along, our kids get along. Because we don't need our kids to start fighting and then the adults start fighting. Because we all come from the old school. Okay, we come, and you know what I'm talking about. Our parents came here for better lives and got shit on, big deal. They moved forward. My mother was in a concentration camp for seven years. We come from, I'm first generation here. I was raised in a respectable household. It was about respect. It was about respecting the other guy. Because let me tell you something. God made the big man. God made the small man. And man made the equalizer. That's it. If that's what the, our government wants to take it to, that's where it will take Please, let's do so. Let's take care of what we have here. This little beautiful community that we have here. This individual should be now, Mr. Kennedy. Let's go. Let's bring up the other one again. Next one. But I'm sure you guys will discuss it. We got, we got, we don't need it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Pepper. I believe it's a nice teacher for us. <laughs> Mike Connors, uh, one more one way street. The only thing is that people at home might not be able to hear you. I'll use the mic then. There you go. Um, Mike Connors, 111 Gray Street. Um, first of all, before uh, I, I talk about what Alex uh, mentioned, um, I'd like to congratulate uh, the board, Ephraim, uh, the grant writers for getting this new bus. I didn't know about it. That's fantastic. Um, $252,000 into the community. It's great. So congratulations, I thank you all for your hard work, those of you that got this together, and, um, and obviously uh, a brand new addition to our town. Um, I come to you as a, a father, a grandfather, a teacher, a resident of Bogota for the last 23 years. Um, I love this community. I have served this community in many, many capacities. I sat up there uh, a couple of different times. Um, I love serving Bogota. But it disturbs me, it really disturbs me to hear stories of teachers trying to indoctrinate our kids with what I consider garbage. Uh, I was always raised to believe that everybody's equal. You judge people not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. A famous man once said that. And I hope our kids are learning all about that man this month, being Black History Month, and many, many other great Black Americans that have served this country down through the centuries. Um, my question for Mr. Kennedy and the board is, do we have any kind of formal training or any kind of um, anything in place where we are very specific with teachers? Because I know in my, in my job as a middle school teacher, I'm told every year, beginning of the school year in August, we're told, keep your politics to yourself. Keep your agendas to yourself. You're not here to indoctrinate. You're not here to preach. You don't want any religion, politics, all of that stuff stays at the front door. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Everyone's entitled to vote for whoever they want and believe whatever they, they choose to believe. That's their right. That's the country we live in, okay? However, when you're being paid to be a teacher in our small town, as Alex said, you're here to teach. You're not here to indoctrinate. You're not here to tell kids that you're better than them or you're a victim and you're an oppressor. And if I hear those kinds of stories, I really get angry because I also raised three kids in this town and they loved Bogota and they still love Bogota. I have two granddaughters that are in the public schools right here in Bogota and they love the school that they're in. And I hope that Mr. Kennedy and Ward, I hope that you will at some point, maybe explain what it is that is, is being said to teachers. Is it being said, or are they on their own? They can say whatever they want in class. Are they here to teach ELA, math, science, and social studies, and all the rest? Or are they allowed to have free reign to do whatever they want? Because if they are, I'm disturbed by that. So those are my five minutes. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Connors. Anyone else? Mr. Kennedy, anyone else? I do see someone's hand Carmel. up. Carmel. Uh, hi, Carmel Bernie, 162 East Fort Lee Road. Mr. Kennedy, can you just clarify me for me um, the quarantine? If someone travels international um, and the student is fully vaccinated with the booster, can they go back to school with the negative COVID test? Obviously, you have to have one coming back into the country, or do they have to quarantine for five days? It wasn't very clear on the letter. Uh, for international and they are vaccinated and boosted, I would have to, uh, it's changing weekly, so I would have to double check. My thought was if you are vaccinated and boosted that you would not have to quarantine, but let me check and I can get back to you tomorrow. Okay. Um, do you know what percentage of students in the schools are vaccinated? Um, is there a large percentage? Is there a low percentage? Do we know that information? I do uh, not have exact data. We've sent out um, surveys asking for it and we've gotten some responses. We have not got everyone's responses. Uh, we are collecting cards uh, and any proof of vaccination because it does come into play if a student has to quarantine. So we usually get uh, uh, more parents and students coming forward after they have to show it, but they're not, they, they don't have to show it to us. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else, Mr. Kennedy? Can I have a motion to close citizen remarks? I don't see anyone. I have a motion. Motion, Second. Idalia. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very perfect. Now moving on to executive session. Uh, for personnel. Personnel. Thank you. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Bogota Board of Education that whereas C.231 and PL.1975 also known as 1975, also known as the Sunshine Law, authorizes the public body to meet in executive or private session under a certain limited under certain limited circumstances and whereas said law requires the board to adopt a resolution at a public meeting before it can be in such an executive or private session now therefore be it resolved by the board of by the Bogota board of education that it does hereby determine that it is necessary to meet in executive session on February 15 2022 at matters involving negotiations litigations personnel that the matter discussed will be made public when confidentiality is no longer required and action pursuant to said discussion shall take place only at a public meeting action may be taken upon return from executive session yes motion we have, have a motion, motion. ortega I have a second Olivo. <laughs> all in favor aye uh, how long? Uh, what do you say? 10 minutes. 10 to 15 
<laughs> Motion to open public meeting. Olivo. Wait, let me. Uh, let me Bob Henry, you're just like on the ball today, man. <laughs> I think the motion is a tough group today. <laughs> All right, we're good. Motion to open public meeting. Olivo. Second. Chavez. Any discussion? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to amend the agenda. Well, second. Again, second. Second. BC? Uh huh. Call the roll, Mr. Irfan. Mrs. Olivares. Is no longer here. <laughs> Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Ruckett? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. May I have a motion to add resolution 10.2 to the agenda? And, and the resolution would be to address, uh, based on the superintendent's recommendation for the board to approve the appointment of Frank Calero as the director of technology with a prorated salary of $140,000, effective March 6th of 2022. May I have a second? Second, Coles. Mr. Urfar, may you call, may do a roll call? Oh, I'm sorry, any board discussion? Mr. Urfar? Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Mrs. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Ms. Rackett? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion so carried. move on uh, resolution 10.2. Mr. Kennedy, you have some making up to do. So oh. we do have, I, I, I did forget to mention one big, big uh, event that will be going on tomorrow. Our bowling team um, is moving on to the state championship for the first time. And uh, I think it's over 22 years. Uh, they came in second place in the sectional, and I believe they only missed that by 28 pins. 29. 29 pins. So uh, <laughs> they will be competing tomorrow uh, in New Brunswick. Um, so best of luck to them, Coach Barone, uh, volunteer Coach Coles. Uh, we wish them the best of luck and you know maybe we can come back with a state championship tomorrow also our bowler franklin linares will be participating on friday he was um out of the top 20 bowlers in the state nice he was number wow. 20 he oh. just made it wow. wow so he'll be whoever is the best that day will take first nice. so good luck to franklin too nice. Paul, i hear you were a bowler yourself still a bowler <laughs> Okay, you're good. Everyone's good. Motion to adjourn. Olivo. Chavez. All in, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>